The purpose of this legislation is to stop online, mail order, do-it-yourself chemical abortions without medical oversight. Current law in Louisiana already prohibits the sale and distribution of abortion pills without them being provided by an in-person licensed physician, but current law is not clear enough and there are not criminal penalties associated with the sale. Current law stipulates, and this is in Title 40, that the physician who prescribed the drug or chemical shall be in the same room and in the physical presence of the pregnant woman when the drug or the chemical is initially administered, dispensed, or otherwise provided to the pregnant woman. This bill makes it clear that the dangerous action of providing or mailing abortion pills without an in-person physician visit is illegal and unacceptable in Louisiana. Currently, out-of-state and out-of-country businesses are selling abortion pills online and, make, and mailing them into Louisiana for women to take it home with little to no instructions and no follow-up to make sure that they're okay. They're requiring no prescription, no pregnancy test, no ultrasound or doctor evaluation. This is dangerous for women, especially after 10 weeks of pregnancy. If a woman has an undetected ectopic pregnant pregnancy, the abortion pill can be extremely dangerous for them. Ruling out an ectopic pregnancy is important uh, as some abortion-inducing drugs are not an acceptable treatment for these kinds of pregnancies when used alone. What this bill is doing is it's attempting to stop the manufacturer and the businesses who are selling the abortion pills, but we are not prosecuting the women who have been taken advantage of by the abortion industry. And we had this debate in uh, Senate committee to make sure that the language was very clear and we added amendments to make sure that it was very clear that this is not about criminalizing the actions of the pregnant woman. Um, I think that's a pretty good summary, Mr. Chairman, of the bill. Um, I do have uh, Angie Thomas here with us from Louisiana Right to Life. Would you like to say a few things now? Sure. Thank you. Angie Thomas, Louisiana Right to Life. And before I get into the specifics about this bill, I just want to draw our attention back to the fact that, you know, even though we're talking about pills, we're talking about the ending of a human life, that these pills are used to end a baby's life up to 10 weeks when that baby has a unique DNA, all of its organs are formed, its eyes and eyelids are continuing to develop. So we, uh, we must never forget that that's what we're talking about here. But the state has already spoken on regulating this, right? We, in our state, we are saying it should be an in-person requirement. However, this law is not being followed. Um, we received, at Louisiana Right to Life, we received several um, stories, accounts of women just going online and ordering these pills. So I decided to find out for myself whether this was true. I uh, went on to um, Within a few minutes, I had the, the pills in my cart. Um, a couple of days later, I received a text message saying, you know, um, are you going to go ahead and purchase it? And I, at which point I said, well, I'm 13 weeks, which is beyond the point of, of safely taking those pills, right? So um, they, they did not say anything to that. They subsequently mailed the pills to me. They came to my home in a three, in a three or four days, um, also with a little piece of candy in the packaging from a, a home in California. So the, this is happening right now. It has been happening for several years. And we need to, uh, you know, as a state, protect women from um, this industry that is out there to just make money. There's even a website that is encouraging women to stock up on their pills and share them with their friends. And all of this is done with no medical oversight. And that's even though the opposition is going to come up here and talk about how safe these drugs are, um, I just want to make a few points on that. That in the rate of ER visits following a chemical abortion increased 507% from 2002 to 2015. And you know, specifically what needs to happen when a woman is getting ready to take this is a lot of factors should be taken into account by a medical professional. You need an ultrasound to assess pregnancy viability, location, and gestational age. So we, we talk about ectopic pregnancy. These pills 
cannot be used for ectopic pregnancies. Ectopic pregnancies account, it's estimated to be one in 40 pregnancies right now. And you should not take that pill if you have that. And yet with no medical oversight and no ultrasound, how are they going to determine that? RH factor is something to be taken into account. So um, if a mother has this this RH factor, then she could it could affect it could adversely affect future pregnancies. And then lastly, gestational age. You know, I, I, if they are too far along, these pills become much more dangerous and become less effective as well. So um, I just urge all of you to um, to vote for this bill. This is about a dangerous practice and about safety of women. Okay, we'll report SP 388 uh, as amended favorably with a vote of nine yeas and two nays. Do I have a motion?